Hey y'all, it is Luca, and welcome back to Rags to Riches Hard Mode. So we are in the beautiful world of Sulani. This world came with the Island Living Expansion Pack. And so, as you can see, we are in this beautiful scenic world, the scenic neighborhood, joined by my beautiful, my lovely, my wonderful sim, August Yearwood. If you have not seen the previous installment of Rags to Riches Hard Mode, I will leave all of those videos down below in a playlist for you to check out. It was a lot of fun. It was a great time recording that bit. It's been a year since I have played with these Sims, but um, if you haven't seen that previous Rags to Riches, you will definitely not need to watch it necessarily, but I highly recommend it. It'll give you a lot of backstory for these Sims. So to introduce the challenge again, uh, obviously, rags to riches. The basics of the challenge is you gotta make a million simoleons. That's the end all be all challenge. That that's that's just the tip of the iceberg for me though. Um, I have a lot more goals to set in mind with this household, but uh, basically with rags to riches hard mode. It is my own creation. I've kind of just come up with my own little challenges that I'm setting for myself. Basically, with hard mode, uh, you must have the off-grid trait for your lot. Uh, so no, you know, power, nothing like that unless you create it. Uh, you must use the simple living lot trait as well. Uh, that one will enforce it so that our fridges are not endless. So we have to have, you know, food and, you know, grow our own food, catch our own food, have chickens maybe, who knows. They also aren't going to have any jobs and any furniture or any items needed uh, to live with or live on uh, must be crafted and or found, i.e. with the uh, dumpsters from Eco Lifestyle. We might not be doing that as much in this since we're in Sulani. But I've also added a small little kind of addendum to that uh, little challenge there. Actually, um, I will be able to buy stuff from the catalog, but I'm making it so that uh, I have to complete little challenges in order to get those items. So it at least gives me something to do. But any items that we craft, any items we find, anything that is a sellable item, we cannot sell it in Build Buy or in our inventory. We have to sell it either at our shop or at a sales table. Now, uh, that being said, we do have um, a good start here since this is from the previous, uh, this, is, this is all coming from the previous uh, installment of the series. And as you can see right down here, um, he actually has his own business. This is where he has, you know, craftable furniture and all that good stuff uh, that he sells. Uh, we may not go there very often, but uh, it, it might become necessary later on. So yeah, that's kind of the, you know, general vibes of this challenge. Um, really, there isn't like a ton of rules. Um, it You can kind of do whatever you want when it comes to uh, making money and stuff. Like you can sell anything, you can do anything. You just can't sell it directly into this little section right here where it says drag here to sell. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's get this party started, y'all. So, um, let me let me go ahead and reintroduce you all to my dear beloved August. Um, August here, uh, he is an adult, so he's not a young adult. He's been around for a bit. Um, he is very neat. I don't really remember giving him this trait, but I thought this would be really good for him. Uh, he's neat. He loves the outdoors. He is outgoing. He's a collector, and he also has a few other traits. He's got the marketable trait from the reward store. He has the jester trait, which that's from Wonderful Whims. I have that installed. And then <laughs> fear of death. Um, I don't think he's going to keep that. I don't know why he has the fear of death. I don't remember him almost dying, so uh, maybe we'll, we'll just get rid of that. And then... 
Yes, this is Mr. Jeff- Jeffrey Landgrab. He is no longer a Landgrab. He he and Miss Nancy Landgrab have officially split, divorced, and these two are married. Um, Mr. Jeffrey here, he's good. He's outgoing. He's family oriented. He has a high metabolism because he is an athletic sim now. Um, he's also a domestic, and he has the jester and caregiver traits from Wonderful Whim. So he's just an all around good guy. Um, he doesn't have a he does have a job. Um, I think I'm actually going to have him leave this job because I don't really see the point anymore because he's not really making a ton of money. And they both do have a good amount of uh, skills, as you can see, because I have played with them quite a bit. Um, but as you can see here, Nancy Landgrab, let's let's just let's get into some tea here. Let's get into the drama and why we're in Solani. So these these fellows here, they lived in the beautiful world of Evergreen Harbor for quite a while. And basically, um, they had their own thing going on. They were doing great. But Miss Nancy, she's a jealous Sim, right? She's very materialistic. She's snobby. She's self-centered. Um, she decided that she didn't think it was all right that Jeffrey just up and left her like that. So uh, basically, she, you know, pulled some strings, unfortunately, with uh, the Evergreen Harbor, you know, government, possibly, and basically got them run out of town because because apparently they were doing something quote unquote illegal, which wasn't really true, but she made it so that it was. So yeah, um, Miss Nancy Landgrab is the reason why they're here. But you know, August sees this as a really good opportunity. He's a very positive sim. He's like, oh, we're definitely just going to have a nice time on the islands uh, because he had maybe a friend here that ha- was like, hey, you could live on this island. It's actually totally free. Just got to take care of it. You know, we're, we'll go with that. And so you also see Johnny Zest here. Uh, Johnny and Jeffrey, in the last little iteration of the series, they actually reconnected. Uh, so they are uh, close once again. Uh, it's very, very cute. Um, I think that uh, Johnny will eventually kind of, con- he'll continue working, I think. Uh, but I'm not really going to worry too much about how much money he makes because uh, he's he's just a level two. So um, I think it would be really fun for him to just, uh, you know, maybe he works in Sulani in the main town. I may have him move later on, but for now, he's just here. So in today's episode, I actually want to focus on uh, just basically getting the basics done because they had everything, but now they've got nothing. We do have a work table right here just in case I need to crack some stuff. Uh, but for now, I really just want to focus on having something for food. Let me look into the little crafting table here and see if there's anything that I can craft to at least have them cook. So th- that was kind of a bust. Uh, so we may be purchasing some stuff. So I think just for the sake of of uh, just for the sake of them, uh, which they don't really have any simoleons right now. Ooh, this is the pickle. This is where it starts to become a little bit different or difficult because uh, we need money in order to cook our food that we catch because we're most likely going to just do some fishing, uh, but we can't really sell this stuff. So we may have to go into town um, and I may have to place down some like some like stalls and stuff to sell things but uh yeah we'll 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 go we'll cross that bridge when we get to it i think the first thing that i would like uh august here to do is i just want him to go fishing why don't you just come over here and go fishing and jeffrey is making a little sandcastle why don't you why don't you uh help him why don't y'all spend some time together oh how cute that right now they're just feeling really positive and enthusiastic because it's like, oh, it's our first day on the island. We're doing great. You know, we, we can we can do this. We've done this before. You know, jo- uh, Jeffrey's like, we can survive. You know, um, let's let's do a little bit of uh, like, oh, I'm selected the wrong one. Let's 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 just have a like a hug or something. Um, affection. Let's just do a hug lovingly um, so that these two, you know, they're just like, you know, 
they care about each other a lot. They, they're so glad they've reconnected. I just love them so much, okay? I have a weird connection with Johnny and Jeffrey. I know. I've played with them so much in my life in the of The Sims 4. Like, oh my goodness, I love them. Why is he talking about death? Maybe he's like, I really hate Nancy. No, he would never say that. Johnny would, though. Johnny has a real big pickle with Nancy, let me tell you. But anyways, uh, Mr. August Yearwood over here, he has caught a guppy. <laughs> Wow, we do have some food here, thankfully, from uh, before we moved. Not a whole lot, uh, but if they're starving, if they need a lot of food, which actually, we should be able to plant some things. We can plant these lemon trees, I think. So maybe we'll do that first. First. I know I'm kind of all over the place, but you know, welcome to me. Welcome to my channel. Oh, they're close now. Yay. I'm so happy. But yeah, he's just going to plant these lemon trees. Um, I know you just eating lemons sounds pretty unpleasant, but you know, it's, it's what they've got. You know, who's calling? Guess what? My date with Zoe Patel. Who are you? Who is this person? Who are they talking? Oh, he's flirty now. Who are you? Hello? Excuse me? I guess she's just welcoming them. She's one of the locals, of course. We know that she's a mermaid, actually, but she's just one of the locals being like, hi, boys. You know, she doesn't realize that she's barking up the wrong tree, y'all, um, for all three of these sims. <laughs> but August is like, oh, I love the idle life. I'm so happy. But eh, they're, you know, they're starting to get a little hungry. They're starting to get a little like they need to pee or poo. Um, let's just take a peek around the islands here, um, and see if there's any facilities of any variety. If there's a bush, uh, let's, let's go to the bush. Ooh, there is facilities. Oh, that's so awesome. So we, let's just have them all, uh, actually it's just August, thankfully. So let's have him use the facility. Oh, he's going to go swimming. Um, oh God, not, not these things again. Yeah, this is where it's going to be a little bit challenging. So I think as soon as August uh, goes and uses the toilet, um, doesn't he look kind of, you know, I mean, can I say something, you know? Um, but he's just going to swim across this little... Isn't that so unfortunate that you have to go swimming to go pee? Like, wouldn't that be so unfortunate? Oh, somebody made money. Um, probably, you know, probably should not have that money because uh, that's part of the challenge uh, where we're not supposed to have a job. So um, I'm going to have him quit his job. All right. It looks like August has done his duty. Um, let us... Ooh, what's this right here? Ooh, uh, it's a pineapple plant. We're going to have to keep an eye for all the plants around here because there's a lot of really fun stuff here in Sulani. I love this island like area in particular because there's just so many things but I think we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna actually head into town uh, because we really need to sell some stuff I think um, I think I'm actually going to add like a yard selling area here at this little beach here uh, we're gonna just we're just gonna go with the the, the fam um, we're going to go with Jeffrey and Johnny because they're not just going to sit there on the island by themselves. Thankfully, from the previous installment, we still have our own little sales table. So I'm going to keep that. Um, but we do need to come over here and stock the table. Um, we need to put some, like, just anything that we have in our inventory that is worth selling. Um, I don't really know. Can I put this? No, I can't. Um, let's just go ahead. We'll sell what we've got here so that we can at least like buy a few things or craft a few things. So we'll go ahead and come and stock the table here. I mean, August doing it in his little swimsuit, which uh, PS, these are actually just uh, undies, uh, but his little swimsuit, um, Let's go ahead. Can we not start a yard sale? He needs to be tending the table. That's right. All right, let's start a yard sale. Uh, we'll mark the prices up to 300% because that's the best way. Um, but yeah, we're here. We're going to do a little yard sale. How about Jeffrey? I don't know. Jeffrey, babes, what are you doing? Are you flipping out here? Like, oh gosh. Anyways, um, I'm going to have Jeffrey come over here. And why don't you um, just... Uh, why don't you go and can you go snorkeling or something? Wow. I don't know what's going on with him. Um, you, you probably, I don't know if you can hear it, but the little, like, you know, whenever a, a little task comes up here, that little noise, it's like playing on repeat. So why don't you come over here and do some snorkeling? Um, that'd be kind of fun for him. And Johnny, oh, 
damn, damn, Jeffrey, I forgot that I made him a daddy. Excuse me. I was like, who is, who is this man's? And it's, 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 it's our man's. Oh, hi. Anyways. Um, yeah. Um, I can't help it. I'm gay. Um, but, uh, yeah, but Mr. Johnny sees, oh, I thought this was, what's his name? Never mind. I thought that was the hot guy. Um, but no, we'll have Johnny, uh, just, just explore the island. Um, actually, I think, Let's go here. Okay, we can't go for a walk, um, but we can go jogging. Let's just go jogging. Go for a nice jog. That'd be kind of nice. Um, yeah, that seems fun. But is anybody... Ooh, hi. Hi, girl with the side braid, Miss Juniper. She's like, oh my god, that horse. That horse is perfect. Oh my god, she actually bought the horse. Wait, that was actually kind of iconic. She's from the uh, horse ranch pack, right? That was so funny. Um, but yeah, 80 simoleons. Hey, you know, we might be able to craft something. Um, our main goal is for this episode, which it might not happen this soon, but the main goal is we need a structure. We need something, some kind of appliance to eat with, and then maybe start a farm slash garden, which we kind of did, but um, this is just the beginning. Oh, hello, Katrina. She's like, oh, oh, a man in his underwear is like enticing me to buy something. I must do it. Um, sir, I don't know what kind of function you just came from, but I mean, I, I guess you have fun, I guess. Um, but can y'all buy something? It'd be great. You know, we can have some so that I can eat some food. Oh, wow. Katrina was not impressed. Well, you know what, girl? Your money isn't good here anyways. You're kind of a mess. Um hello gentlemen can you buy something please i'm trying to not speed up too much in this oh wow he's like not inter oh he bought something for 200 simoleons though um so that worked out but i'm gonna let august keep going jeffrey have you found anything yet oh i found something oh my i need to not look too closely oh my goodness jeffrey um but yeah he's just uh I i'm gonna let him do his thing and then johnny johnny is back from his little jog um i don't know really what to do with johnny tbh um i kind of wish we would have came to this lot here but uh the beach lot has a little bit more activity i think um but we may actually go over here uh, afterwards and, you know, hang out. I really need to renovate this because, oh, it's looking rough. Uh, but how about Johnny just do some, uh, just, just, just swim around maybe. I don't know. Um, we will probably head back pretty soon. They will need to have some kind of, ooh, Mila, Mila girl, you are an icon. You're a legend. You're a moment. Oh no, he's hungry. Oh no. Come on. No. No. Oh, the yard. Well, I guess the yard sale is pretty much a dud. Let's go ahead and clear the table and let's go ahead and put it in our inventory. And I guess we're just going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and head back home. You know, I don't mean to be such a flaming homosexual and like put all my Sims in Speedos, but you know, when in Sulani, right? Um, so. Mm, it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. Do y'all remember? Do y'all remember last season, last iteration, when we spent an eternity just trying to get a toilet? Yeah, I think we're gonna have that repeat again. Uh, but let's see what kind of furniture we can craft. Um, I can craft pretty much anything by the looks of it, which is awesome. Um, they do need some kind of bed. Um, I can make a double bed, but I don't have enough money for that. Um, let's see what sculptures are not sculptures, but furniture we can craft as well. I do have a mod, uh, where it does give me more things to craft. Thankfully, um, we can make a toilet. We don't really need a toilet, thankfully this time around. Uh, so I think I'm just going to focus on crafting things that we need. Oh my goodness. We were literally 12 simoleons away from being able to make a single bed. That's so unfortunate. I could go ahead and make a sink or a shower. Uh, these are off the grid, I believe. So we can at least shower. Um, I may go ahead and do that. Um, and I think with Jeffrey, I mean, it would be pretty difficult to set up a yard sale here. I think a lot of Sims tend to kind of 
gather in this area because I think if I'm not mistaken, this is like the entrance, quote unquote. So maybe we'll start a sale over here. Uh, that would be kind of fun. Maybe I'll have Jeffrey lead that. Um, I think we're going to have to do something, though, for food. So I'm going to look through his inventory and see if there's anything that they can eat. Okay, we can give Jeffrey an avocado. Oh, we have a plant sim fruit. I want to plant that. Um, but a bonsai bud for for Johnny. And I guess he will eat a soybean. Um, they're hungry. They got to eat something, you know. This is... Oh, we can't eat a bonsai bud. I guess that makes sense. I guess we'll give him another um, another bean. Oh, gosh. How sad. This is a very rough little go around, but it's, it's rags to riches. That's how it's going to be. That was good though. That made them feel good because you know, uh, they're eating food that they grown. Ugh. I'm going to need Jeffrey to change out of this, but I would hate for him to, because also <laughs> daddy. Um, anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to let them just chill, uh, while he comes over here and he crafts a shower. He okay. So let's go ahead um, it should be in our household inventory and it will probably be listed. Oh, we have a double bed still. I mean, we could, we could, but I don't know. We have our nice little shower. We do have chickens still, but I kind of don't want to have anything from our last go around. Um, oh, the bed is really good quality though. Oh, it's so tempting. It's very tempting, but we won't worry about that today. So yeah, we have a shower. Um, we only have 97 simoleons left. Um, I'm, let's just run a little bit of an experiment and see if people will come if I start a uh, yard sale here. Oh, Jeffrey needs to go pee. Uh-oh. And he also seems to be having some tummy troubles from eating some homegrown food. Um, oh, and now he's cold. Now they're cold. You're on an island. What do you mean you're cold? I mean, to be fair, they are in nothing but their bathers. And I can imagine that's pretty chilly. Oh, Johnny, why do you just flawlessly look cute all the time? Like, look at him. Uh, anyways, oh, look at the stars reflecting off the water. Oh, how beautiful. What is what a nice little shot. Hold on. I gotta I gotta take some screenshots. Hold on. Anyways, um, I'm going to go over here to Jeffrey. He needs to go pee. Um, he's going to have to swim to go pee. Oh, he used on himself. That's just wonderful. At least we have a shower. At least we have a shower. But after this, we can go tend the table and we'll start a yard sale. And we shall see if that actually does anything. Oh, hold on. I forgot you can actually go digging. We can beach comb. <gasps> this changes everything. We found a beach towel, which is really cool. I mean, it's not much, but... I forgot we can dig for trash. Well, you know what we're going to do. Oh, it doesn't look like I can stack that. It looks like I have to just like do it one at a time, which is unfortunate. Um, but has he found anything? You have to pee again. Oh, no. Oh, we do have some people. We do have some people. Oh, good. Oh, my gosh. We can probably craft a toilet if we sell some stuff. Oh, they're just showing up at our lot. That's awesome. Listen, for now... Oh, did he lose the single and loving it? Thank God, because he was not single and loving it. He was happy in a relationship. Oh, no, he's embarrassed because he peed himself. There's a lot going on right now. Can y'all buy something, please? Come on, we have nice sculptures. Oh, they're probably really off put by our stench. Oh, come on. At least buy one thing. Come on. Are y'all just not wanting to buy anything today, y'all? What the heck? I need some money, please. Hello? Help? Can you buy something? Wow. They didn't buy anything. Oh, the audacity. Well, go ahead and take a shower. I don't even know where Johnny is. Oh, he's so hungry. Oh, baby. Oh, no. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I don't even know. This is a bad idea. I've. Oh, we have seeds, right? Theoretically, there's things in those that we can possibly eat. There we go. There, eat some basil. Just eat some basil. Oh, his stomach is not gonna be happy. Oh God, oh no. Well, he's still not full and he has to poop. Oh God, this is bad. This is real bad. Why don't you come over here? Use the bathroom. We need to get something for food, anything. I don't even know if I have anything that 
at all. We can craft a toilet. That's good. Um, but we really, we really need some way of getting some food. Um, we can fish. We definitely can fish, but we can't cook the fish. So I think just to keep my poor, poor Sims from starving, um, I will buy a, um, I will buy like a, like a fire pit or something. Um, I'm trying to find it and I don't remember. Okay. We don't have near enough simoleons for that. Um, we don't really have anything to cook with at all. Oh no. Even this Sulani volcanic barbecue searer is a thousand simoleons. Oh dear. Yeah, there's truly nothing for them to do. Um, so I'm going to have Jeffrey. Uh, Johnny's just going to have to eat some raw fish, I'm guessing. Um, I'll give him this. Oh, wait, they have a grilled cheese that's spoiled. Um, but we're going to have... Can he eat that? Oh, no, he can't eat that either. Oh, no, y'all. They're going to starve. <laughs> They're going to starve. I really don't know what to do, actually, other than just like selling something from their inventory so that they can have a way of eating. I mean, I know this is just part one of the challenge, but we'll just get rid of this dresser. I have to do this so they don't starve to death, okay? We're just gonna give them this little um, grill thingamadoodle, um, and then we'll get rid of the simoleons. There we go. That way they don't starve to death. Um, they, still, they will still have to fish, but um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this in August inventory and we will grill up some fish. Boiling frog hot pot. We do have frog. Let's do that. Let's make some hot pot. Um, you can finish that later. Um, you need to make some food. Um, hopefully it doesn't like implode. Okay, okay, cool. Um, call to meal. Everybody, oh, come Lord. eat. Pick up a serving. Why don't you come pick up a serving? Why don't you come pick up a serving? Okay, that was a good idea. Um, it still plays in line with the whole off the grid thing. Oh my God, will y'all eat? Did, why, why aren't you eating it? Okay. Um, are you, I hope none of y'all are vegetarians because that would be very unfortunate. Um, I don't think they are, so that's good. Um, but yeah, they've got some frog soup. That sounds great. Uh, I would try it. Honestly, frog is delicious. I've had frog in the past. Um, it tastes kind of like a cross between chicken and fish. Um, it's like a nice clean chicken taste. It's very lovely. But I'm going to have Johnny come over here and eat because he is starving to death. Um, and it's at least something for them to eat. He's also freezing. Wow, I didn't know Johnny would be the one that struggled the most. Um, actually, no. Let's, let's change his outfit to his cold weather. Anyways, after all of that is done and aside, um, yeah, I think this, uh, I think we need to just focus on getting everything set up. So yeah, um, we really need to focus on getting, um, our, I might just clear out our inventory eventually, but I think I am going to plant some more of these seeds that Jeffrey has. Oh my God. Uh, August has some plantains. That's perfect. It's spring, which is unfortunate, but it will be summer in a couple days. So if I go ahead and get this planted, then by uh, summer, ooh, I do not like that those did not line up right. We'll go plant these. Um, oh, look at this. He's got a moodlet. Uh, amphibian agility. Catching and eating the slipperiest frogs has given August enhanced reflexes and senses. With an extra leap in his step, catching frogs, swimming, fishing, and other physical pursuits should be easier. Well, that's cool. I did not know that that gave them a nice little moodlet. He's like, you know, I didn't think I'd like frog, but this is actually pretty good. But he needs to go... Oh, he's so gross from using the public toilet. I, I kind of get what you mean, Johnny. But I'm going to have August come over here and finish making their toilet so they at least have something. Wow, Johnny is like getting along with August quite nicely. He's like, I don't, I'm, I know this is not super fun, but um, I feel pretty good, you know? And they at least have something to nap on by the looks of it. Is that what? Yeah, he's asleep. So they at least have somewhere to sleep, which is good. Um but I think I'm going to have Johnny come over here and beach comb for some trash. Um, and then I may do some shells too, so that they can work on selling some seashells by the seashore. Um, it doesn't look like they find very, very much trash. Okay. It looks like he's finished the, um, 
toilet, thankfully. Um, remember that whole fiasco, y'all? I don't know if you do. If you haven't seen the first iteration, it took us so long to get a toilet. <laughs> it took us so long. Um, but yeah, let's let's have Johnny. Um, he needs to use the toilet again. So come and use the toilet. Is he going to do it in front? Oh, I guess he's shooing them all away. Um, but I'm going to have Jeffrey. Oh, Jeffrey needs to use the loo too. Um, I wish that there was like a lot trait or something that I can make it where they're not like super private. Um, Jeffrey Yearwood starts working an hour. I thought I had him quit. I thought I had him quit. Whatever. But they're all going to come take turns using the loo. And of course he's going to pee himself because he's too ignorant to go and do it himself. But Johnny, I think I'm going to have Johnny tend the table today and I'm going to have him start a yard sale. I think they're going to like take turns. Um... Jeffrey is a little too embarrassed. Um, oh, this frog soup. Let's see. This frog soup. It's gonna. La it's not gonna last all day. His energy is okay, but he's still kind of tired. I'm gonna have him come beach comb for some trash. They're gonna do a lot of sand castles by the looks of it because it gives them some fun. Ooh, what did they find? He found cake. <laughs> I mean, how do you find cake when you have cake, girl? Um, but no, um, it's spoiled. And it's white cake. What an insult. Okay, y'all remember that glitch? I'm so glad that that's over for now. Okay, it looks like he's not really finding anything. So let's just find some seashells. Um, for the love of God, will somebody buy something? Johnny! Oh, there he is. I thought he wasn't tending the table. Um, he found a small conch shell. Oh, there's so much happening. Y'all, there is so much happening. Let me tell you. Um, ooh, August needs a shower. Why don't you go to take a shower? Okay, I'm needing y'all to make some money. Oh, he's gonna burn up. Oh my God. Oh no, he's gonna burn up. He's in his cold weather outfit in the heat. There, much better. Um, we'll get rid of that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. This has been pretty chaotic so far. Oh, Jeffrey, oh, man, he's... Anyways, um, August... I don't know. I Yeah, I know. I know, August. I know. Um, it's... <sighs> This was definitely a ride. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed today's part, though. I think this is a good ending off point. This is a good, like, part one, I think. They've got their start, sort of. Um, but hopefully in the next episode, we will be able to have some, you know, ability to have a house. Um, I don't know if we're going to have a, a structure built by then. But um, I hope y'all enjoyed today's Let's Play episode. Do let me know in the comments down below uh, what y'all think. Let me know what tips y'all have. If y'all have any ideas, suggestions, uh, recommendations, etc. for this series, uh, just leave them in the comments down below. But that's everything, y'all. Uh, thank you all so, so very much for watching. Stay weird, and I'll speak to y'all next time. Bye, y'all.